today we're going to be replacing the door handle trim on the BMW X1. This is a fantastic car I picked up recently and it is in immaculate condition for an eight year old car, but there are some wear and tear, just, you know, places in the car where a person's going to, you know, bump and rub, like the doormats and the handle trim, especially on the driver's side. So let me show you guys the replacements I got and then we'll take a look at the current condition of those handles. All right, this arrived today from AliExpress. These were, I don't know, they weren't $12, I don't know, not very much. You can see he's got the E84 here, which is the X1 version uh, that I have. And this is going to be a lot cheaper than the factory stuff here. See, I got black. Hopefully this matches close enough to what I currently have. You can get silver. They have different uh, trim colors depending on what your interior colors are, your car. Or if you wanted to change it up and go with a different color. Like I said, silver is another one that probably would look pretty good in the car. But... You know, I'm going to get this replaced because there's some nicks and little spots. I'm probably just rubbing against someone's uh, watch or the keys or something bumping. And it just scarred up on the interior. Just a lot, basically a lot of the door tra uh, panel trim, especially on the driver's side, just has a little wear and tear. Nothing severe, but end of the day, you can spend a little bit of money to make a car like this look almost brand new, which is the goal of what i'm doing here on this car that already was in incredible condition so let's go over there and start uh, replacing this it should be very straightforward okay really quickly i wanted to show you guys i pulled off the passenger side piece of trim already it's this piece and this is a replacement and this one was in much better shape because obviously there wasn't many people on the passenger side bumping and scarring up compared to the driver's side but just feeling these this, you know, the, the OEM factory stuff here is a little bit, it feels a little bit, I mean, weight-wise, a little bit maybe more weight, a little bit more rugged, and a little bit more pliable. This is a little bit more brittle, but again, this is dirt cheap. So if these busts, I can buy another one, even in a different color for nothing. So I just want to show you that real quick. As you can see, they look pretty much identical, but there is a slight difference in the material, the type of plastic composition, and probably the quality, but... Buying these from BMW, I can't imagine how much they would be. Might be a hundred dollars. I don't know. And again, this is really dirt cheap. I'll have a link down to AliExpress. Uh, there's a whole bunch of stores that sell this, but I'll link to the store I bought it from if you're interested in this. So right, let's get back over there. I'll show you how to, to install this, pull it, how to pull it off and install it on the driver's side one. Okay, let's go ahead and re replace the driver's side one. As you guys just saw, I already pulled off the passenger side one just to do it, make sure I don't want to get hung up showing you guys. And I got to tell you, this is one of the easiest replacement things you could do in a car it is so simple so um i probably already showed you guys a while ago but the uh the driver's side this is what i was talking about it's you know very scarred up you know it's there's a bit of a rubber rubber texture to this and it's just you know it's bumping and hitting things i'm also going to be replacing this this is also scarred up you know and this is another piece it's super easy to replace but yeah let's go ahead and pop this off again there's not as much of a the replacement piece has a little less of that rubber texture feel, but what you want to do is you want to get one of your trim removal tools and I'm going to, I'll try to link you guys down here to one of these kits on Amazon. They're like five bucks and boy, they come in handy and just get in here and uh, make sure we get the camera right. And just, you want to um, just try to pop this out. You just get it in here and pry, work it along and we'll just pop this out. See, now it's coming out. And now you're just going to, now we're just going to pull the whole thing off. This whole piece is going to come up. Super, super easy. It's a bit of a, there's a bit of a, just a gooiness to it now. Like I said, just from the heat and just this getting worn out of these, I can kind of feel the tackiness on my fingers. Let me go grab the new piece and we'll pop that on. Okay, let's go and put this new piece of trim on. This is really easy to do. Let's, hopefully I can do this with one hand. You're going to get it right up in here and get this little piece in right here. And it's just a matter of just sort of pushing it in place here. Getting in, yet you may have to take the, you know, the you know, the, you may take your hand and kind of hit it with your, the back of your hand, but it's, it's not, I need, I, I kind of need two hands to do this, to be honest with you, but you can you get the gist here. It's not hard, so. I'll go ahead and set my phone down here and pop one side in and then I'll show you guys the rest of it. I just need two hands and I'm being lazy again using my uh, phone and not a tripod. 
how that took two seconds just then to hit it with the hit it in my hand here and uh was able to pop this in now the rest of it you're just going to come along here and just pop this in like this well, get this one to line up okay but we'll get it we'll get it in here it was super easy on the other side just need to get this up over this little lip of this clip and i think now it ought to go in if i if it's hopefully it's in the right place if i hit it now and now it popped in so there's this little there's like this little clip and then it kind of fits in like you're putting a into the mouth of the clip and then pop it pops in and this one was wanting to go below that so i just raised it above it it stayed there and then i just hit it again this is super easy you're not going to break anything just make sure you start prying down here to take it off if you can't get a pry tool up here and you'll start scarring this up as you try to take it off up here you pry it from down here pull it up the new one put it in here bam 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 pop it in and now look at that We've got a brand new looking door handle without any of the scarring that was on the original. And really, I mean, the only thing on this door, this door here, if I could spit it out, this little white speck in the, I guess that's the leather on the door handle, on the door side there. But yeah, otherwise, I mean, this is looking more and more new. So one of the next things I'm going to be doing is I've got this um, orange and black carpet i think it's gonna have the bmw logo they paid a few bucks extra for the said the car logo so either bmw or it may say x1 i don't know they don't have it in the amazon pictures but that's gonna be the next thing that's gonna sit in here and go up the sides and into the back and that's going to uh, be orange and black and i think it's gonna look really good i hope so and it's gonna replace this uh the mat that's in the car now because the mat's not bad, but they have these Velcro discs that are supposed to hold the mat in place. And you can see these, they're supposed to go in the carpet. And obviously it's a design flaw BMW. This gets it ripped out of the carpet and it just sticks to the Velcro. And it doesn't keep the, um, the floor mat in place. So these new next ones, I got pieces for front, both front, I didn't mess with the back. It was like 50 some dollars on Amazon. It's coming from China. That ought to be here sometime next week, and I'll be getting that video up to the channel sometime soon. All right, guys, that was a really easy, I wouldn't call it, it's not a modification, it's more of a uh, cosmetic fixer upper to uh, make the car look newer. Super simple. If you like videos like this, or you like RC, uh, Roadshow cars, drones, you know, RC boats any of that stuff from real cars to rc cars be sure to click the subscribe button while you don't click the bell that way you're notified every time i upload a new video and as always guys have a great day